I don't normally film with the dog in the room. This is, I think, my first time doing it. It's going great so far. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You're doing great. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy October, Ludo's here. He's excited, we're all excited. Let's give you a look at Ludy. If you haven't seen him in a while, he's massive. He's 30 pounds now. <laughs> I know, buddy. I love you too. <laughs> I don't normally film with him in the room. Normally Bradley's home, uh, but he is not home right now and I didn't want to close the door on him, so I left it open, so. There might be some Ludo appearances in this. <laughs> he's very excited to be here, as you can tell. And so am I. So today is very, okay. <laughs> Got the dog a bone, he's occupied. So today is very exciting for multiple reasons. Number one, it's October 1st. So happy October, everybody. I am so excited it's October. I like am in disbelief it's October. I still feel like I'm kind of like, not in denial, but like I'm in denial. I'm not in denial, it just seems too good to be true because it's my favorite and it's finally here and I am so, so excited. So. Happy October! My birthday's in 12 days. I'm very excited. I'm about to be 31, if you were curious. But I just love this season. I love everything about it. So happy fall, October, Halloween to ya. Now, the main reason I am very, very excited today is because I am launching a website slash blog, whatever you want to call it. And before you like roll your eyes, because I know everybody is like a blogger. And let me be upfront, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just wanted a place where I can share more. Um, certain things that like I personally feel like wouldn't make a full video, I wanted a place to share them. And this has been something on my to-do list for a very long time. Mainly because like when I make recipes and do recipe videos, I would like a place for you guys to be able to go to see it written out because who wants to go reference a video when they want to remake a recipe, do you know what I mean? So things like that, a place for pictures. Before I went off to musical theater school, I was a photography major and so just getting back to like taking pictures and editing them has been so fun and i want your feedback on what you'd like to see on the blog it'll be like a it's like a website but it's also a blog like there will be posts but it's also kind of a landing page for all things amy it's actually really cool i've set up shop pages where you can go and like shop my life so if you're looking around in this video and you see something you like just go to the shop my office tag, you'll see its picture, you can click it and you can buy it, you can check it out. But the main feature of today is very exciting. I made my own kind of like 31 nights of Halloween. It's called the 31 nights of Amy's Halloween. I, I don't even remember what it's called. But basically I have curated a list of 31 they're not all movies. 31 things to watch this October. Um, I told you they're like in row. It's like a schedule for you to follow. Ludie's excited about the list too. He loves it. So it's all of my favorite Halloween things to watch. I've been getting so many questions about movie recommendations, my favorite movies, what I'll be watching. And so I kind of came up with the idea a couple months ago and I was like, I'm gonna make my own like 31 nights of Halloween that like do on, like they do on Freeform. Cause I'm always never like really pleased with it. Like last year they showed Iron Man and I'm like, how is this a Halloween movie? So I made my own curated list. All right, I gotta lock the dog out. It's not going well, come on. Well, I tried. <laughs> but if that is not what you're into, I had my dad who is a huge horror movie fan buff. Like he is disturbed. Let me tell you. He made his list as well. So if you want to follow both, you can. If you just want to follow the scary one or if you want to follow mine, there is, you know, options for everybody. And I will say, we both put a ton of work into it. I kind of told him what I wanted it to be and he took it very seriously. He wrote a little excerpt for everything on there and some of the nights are double feature nights and some nights are like black and white nights. So his list is super cool, but not as cool as my list. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're just different lists. So both of those lists are live on the web website right now. Um, if you scroll to the bottom of the list, there's like a little like savable image that you can save to your phone so you don't have to refer to the list if you want to follow along. Obviously me and Bradley will be following my list and we'll be checking it on Instagram. So if you do share, please let me know. Yeah, just if you check out the website at all, thank you so much in advance. And I have literally been chained to the computer from 9 to like 8 p.m. every day for the last two weeks and I've been working my ass off on it and I just wanted it to be really nice and I think it turned out really really well. My sister-in-law does this professionally so she helped me set it up and taught me how to use it and I am just like I take forever to do everything, but I'm just trying to take my time and make things really nice, make it visually pleasing. Me and Ludo took a cute little photo shoot that's with the blog post, so 
yeah, those are the posts that are up for now. Like I said, more coming. Check out the shop tags. I didn't even say what it was. It's amylynbutchin.com, but you could also go to Amylyn Sattler or amylynthompson.com and we'll all take you to the same place. But yeah, so that is my main number one favorite. Sorry for like a little self-promotion in there, but I am just so excited. I've been waiting. I've been, I had this plan for like the last three months and it's finally here and I'm so excited. And it turned out like way better than I could have ever imagined. So thank you if you check it out in advance. And I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of you watch along with me on the Amy's 31 Nights of Halloween. Should be fun. It is a really good list, especially if you're around my age. There's some fun like 90s nights and stuff. So check that out. But anyway, the real reason we're here is to do a favorites video, which I'll warn you now, I have zero makeup. I've been wearing some makeup. Um, we did like a fun couple of like self-isolation fun things this month. I put on makeup, but like it's all the same stuff that I've pretty much worn all year or the last couple of months. I do have a lot of skincare. But anyway, I'll just shut up. We'll get into it. But just to give you an idea, I have some like decor, some accessories, some clothing, oils, skincare, and a nail polish, which we'll start off with. So I'm not even sure if I'm, this is a fail or a flop. It might be a flop for me because of my skin tone, but it was still a great polish. So this is OPI, have your Penatone, Penatone, I'm not positive how to say it, and eat it too. This is from the Muse of Milan collection, which I totally forgot that I like told you guys I was gonna do a nail polish video. I asked you guys on Instagram if you'd rather see a full dedicated Muse of Milan collection or a fall polish picks. They sent me the whole collection and I like a lot of it. So pretty much every single one that I like will be in like the fall polish picks. Fall polish picks one on Instagram, but you can let me know what you want down below in case you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. But it's a really nice fall collection. I keep saying I haven't had a boner for nail polish like this in a long time. So it's a good collection. So I tried this one first. It's a very like interesting, just like bright pumpkin color. There's kind of two like rusty orange pumpkinish shades. And this is the lighter one. I'm saving the other one for like closer to Thanksgiving. I feel like I, I don't know. There is no logic to how my brain categorizes nail polish, but it does it so fast and there's like no time for arguing. So that's what happened. I loved the shade. I got a lot of compliments on the shade from like my family. That's the only people I'm seeing, my family, Bradley's family. But on me, I'm not positive how I felt about the color on my personal skin tone. I did do my own October 1st nails this year. However, I think nail salons just opened. So I will probably be braving the nail salon pretty soon because good Lord. I miss it. Also a tidbit, there's a shop my nails page in which you can go scroll through and it's a bunch of like swatch photos. If you click it, it will bring you to, I, th I think they're mostly Amazon links of all the polishes. So if there's, you wanna browse that, that was fun. But collecting all those pictures, I was kind of like, my gosh, I, I miss going to the salon every like week or in a half or two and having fresh, painted nails like I miss that so much so I'm looking forward to that but anyway I'm just I'm kind of like I don't know you guys know that I do October 1st orange glitter nails um, which I usually use Essie Rorange underneath but this year I already had this on so I just kind of touched it up and slapped glitter on over and the glitter is OPI Orange You Fantastic from the Coca-Cola collection so good so I just don't know like usually by the end of the week of me wearing the nail polish I kind of have an idea of if I'd wear it again if I'm gonna keep it or not and I haven't made up my mind, so I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, but like, besides my skin tone, it's a beautiful color. So um, if you are not as ghostly white as me with or yellow undertones, this might look good on you. All right, now let's get into skincare because I, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but my skin has been like really happy lately. My skin and my plants have been thriving. And I think it's because I have all this extra time to put into taking care of them. And like, I've been loving my skincare or my skin so much. I'm thinking about doing a full skincare routine video, like morning, night, uh, special pamper routine products. And I think I'm gonna put like all that together. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. The first thing, this is from Trader Joe's. This is the Trader Joe's Nourish Microdermabrasion Scrub Exfoliating Cream. So many of you commented on my videos about this and I was like, you're all insane, I've never seen that. But I think I just didn't see it. Like it was always there. Then I noticed it one day, I put it in my cart. I am obsessed with this. It's very, it says it's an exfoliating cream. So like the base of it is creamier than other exfoliants but it's really fine grittiness and it is just the right amount of abrasiveness that I want and it's so 
good. It is so good. I think it says it's safe to use every day, which I do use it every day. It says repeat as often as desired, which I know a lot of you will yell at me like, oh, you're not supposed to exfoliate every day. I always have, maybe I'll pay for it later, but like I can feel it when I don't. So, oh, oh, oh my God. So I am completely obsessed with this. I have a feeling I'll go back and forth between this and my mint satin facial scrub from Young Living because I still love that. Oh, my diffuser went off. That's sad. You'll deal. But yeah, this is obviously affordable. It's a Trader Joe's. I want to say it's like $6. It's incredible, you guys. So I've tried two things now from the Nourish line that my eye cream I'm currently using in this, and they're both fantastic. So highly recommend both. You guys know my love for the Foreo Foro UFO2. It's like the activated mask thing. I use it all the time. Oh, I've also started making IGTVs and reels on my Instagram. I'm trying to be like, like not so lazy about everything. And I made like a pamper Sunday routine IGTV and I used this in it if you want to see how that's used again. However, I had my eye on these Foreo Manuka Honey um, activated masks. This is basically like a tiny little round sheet mask that goes on top of this and then this is activated by your phone and you scan in what you're using so it knows like how to pair with it and it has a bunch of different LED lights and it has heat and it massages and it's like it's supposed to be like a more effective sheet mask in 90 seconds so it's a quick treatment which is really nice you can repeat the treatment which I always do I just squeeze out the rest of the serum and then do it again but I had my eye on this one for a while just Manuka honey like sounded so nourishing and amazing and it is I am obsessed with this this one this box is a little bit more than the other ones totally loving it. It's revitalizing. It feels very just like hydrating. And this one had an orange LED light, which I hadn't seen on this yet. I'd just seen purple, green, and red. So that was exciting. But if you did purchase this and you're looking for more masks, give this one a shot. I did see a cucumber one and a rose one, and I need to try them both immediately. And then I know I've talked about this a few times, but this I have been loving. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I like this on top of makeup and also on bare skin, but I've mainly lately been using it on my bare skin. I, like I said, I've been spending a lot of days at the computer, but I still shower in the morning, do my skincare, and kind of get ready for the day just because it makes me feel better. And I just kind of seal my bare face with this. It makes my skin glow as if I put on highlighter. It smells so good, it feels so nice. Sometimes face sprays can kind of make my face tingly or itchy. This is not one of them, it's amazing. And I just wanted to mention it again because I'm absolutely obsessed. Now a couple of body favorites. Guys, this is great. This is the Lush Very Very Frightening Shower Gel from the Halloween collection. I did a full collection review. I will link that up in the corner. It's a really nice, like, it's not a very big collection, but I'm I, there's not a single thing I don't like in it. So it's a good collection. This smells so good, it's not even funny. Normally the Lush Shower Gels break me out and it may still end up breaking me out. I mean, that's like the definition of insanity is when you keep using something, expecting a different result, but we all know I'm insane. They sent me this and every time they send me one that I love the way it smells I'm just like oh let me try it I've been using it for a few days and I have not broken out so I'm kind of like oh, maybe I can tolerate them now however Bradley loves them so we always keep them around and he uses them so this was in the shower I was like I want to try it it smells so good if you are a lush fan from back in the day this smells like the Miranda soap which was always my favorite soap and then they discontinued it which I'm very upset about but this it smells just like it and it smells so good it's this fun like bright yellow color it is a little bit of a mess in the shower but that's fine it's fun it's Halloween fun and the Christmas rain is coming out tomorrow online, October 2nd, and there's a little hippopotamus bath bomb, which I'm so excited for like the, I don't want a hippopotamus for Christmas, you know? And it smells like this, so I'm excited about that. I want like 16 of them. Also from the Halloween range, I don't have it physically to show you. I can insert B-roll of it because I already used up the ones I got and I have ordered more. The Bat Art bath bomb is incredible. I'm like blown away by it. A lot of you wanted me to report back if it stains the tub. It does not. Like even if there's a little bit of gray left, it washes right down. It is so good. It is so foamy. It, it's black and glittery, but then it, when you put it in, it starts to go purple, but then blue and pink come out. It is such a good bath bomb. I cannot recommend it enough. I ordered a lot more. And then another body favorite, and I don't, this is coming out on Ulta's website. Oh, it's dripping on me. It was in the shower. October 18th. Uh, they sent me this and she told me that the, this line, it's the mineral pink salt line from Too Cool for School, is coming out on Ulta on October 18th. If I can find this through their website, I'll link it down below, but if not, I wanted to give you a heads up. This is the Mineral Pink Salt Body Scrub Wash. This is fantastic. I just like knowing that it's pink Himalayan salt because like, 
pink salt is supposed to be incredible for you. I have a pink salt lamp in my office. It's just supposed to be good for like your mood and your energy, but also like salt is just good for your skin. It's very healing. Obviously it's very exfoliating. This has a bit of like a lemongrass scent, which to be honest, I don't even really like lemongrass, but it doesn't bother me so much. What I like about it is it's a really good scrub for your body, but it's very, it says it's a scrub wash. So it acts as one. You don't have to like cleanse your body first and then do a scrub or vice versa. You just use one product and it's really, really nice. I have really dry body skin, so I'm always a fan of a body scrub and I like the tube. It's really easy to use in the shower. A lot of body scrubs I've used in the past have been in like a tub and those are hard to work in the small shower, but this is incredible. So I'm just really into this, wanted to share. Let's quickly talk oils before we talk other things. I always, I know I annoy some people when I talk oils, so I always feel bad talking about them, but I also know a lot of you guys like to hear them. And this is, this is life changing. Everybody needs to hear this. So Young Living launched a new oil this month called Kid Sense Kid Power, which I knew they had their whole Kid Sense line. I've tried the Sleepy Calm blend. I freaking love it. Which the whole idea behind the kids line are their oils that's already diluted. So they have like carrier oil in them so that you can directly put them on to your kids. And I think they have to be two or older. And then there's also like a dilution chart either on their website or even maybe like on this bottle somewhere on ages and how much they should be diluted and all that. But the idea is these are safe for kids because they already have carrier oils in them. So this is called Kid Power. This is supposed to be the Valor for kids, which if you don't know what Valor is, it's kind of like an emotional support to bravery oil. It's one of my all time favorites because it smells really good. I love essential oils, but I'm still not huge on like the hippy dippy scents. Like patchouli is not for me. I prefer the ones that smell more like candles because that's what I'm used to. And Valor is very floral, smells like a candle. And so this is supposed to be Valor for kids. This smells like Valor, but it's got orange and vanilla added to it. And this smells like a straight up creamsicle. And I'm not lying to you. I wasn't gonna order this because I don't have children, but so many people I follow were like, it smells like an orange creamsicle, you have to try it. And I was like, okay, I ordered it. I'm blown away. It is the, I, 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 I have no words. We went to the pumpkin patch the day after I got this in the mail and I just took this with me just to sniff it because it smells so good. My husband loves it, my sister loves it, we're all loving it. Thought we were having an earthquake, but we aren't. Did you know that I can hear earthquakes before they happen? Cause I can. <laughs> Why would you know that? I've never said that, but it's true. Anyway, <laughs> usually when new products come out, they're not available on Essential Rewards. So it wasn't on Essential Rewards in September. Today's a new month, I haven't checked yet. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to add this to your Essential Rewards cart now. I hope you can because everybody needs one. It is just so good. I diffuse it. It is a little bit more oily inside your diffuser because of the carrier oil. So you might have to wipe it out a little more often, but the smell is so, so good. I already made a perfume roller of it, which I didn't even add anything else. I just put this in carrier oil in a roller bottle so I could slap it all over me all the time. It is so good. I think you guys get it. <laughs> and then another quick one, which has been life-changing this month. When I, we went to Cambria with friends, one of my oldest, like literally my oldest friend, Jillian, that doesn't matter to the story, but she was there. And so she was one of my friends where like, we didn't know, like I didn't know she was into the oils life. I sat down with dinner at dinner with her one night and I was like, are you wearing stress weight? She's like, I am. And so it kind of, it was a fun, it was like a fun thing to talk about. And now she's one of my favorite oily friends. So. In Cambria, she had one of those really cool, which I need to get necklaces that you wear around your neck. Obviously, that's what a necklace does. <laughs> okay, um, but it's like a little oil roller. It's like really cute. They often involve like crystals and stuff, but she had one and it was this cool green color. So I was like, what oil is that? And she was like, oh, it's a mixture of Valor and White Angelica. And it smelled absolutely incredible. So I obviously had to make my own roller. I put mine in this really fun Halloween bat roller, which is super cute. But these are both bravery and emotional support oils. Again, White Angelica is very floral. It's very like clean floral. I really, really like it a lot, but I like it so much better blended with Valor. So I have literally been carrying this thing around with me. I like to put this one on my collarbones and like behind my ears. And I just have it sitting on my desk. When it's time to go to bed, it's sitting by my bed. If it's time to go somewhere, it's in my purse. Like I just cannot get enough of this and it just makes me feel calm and I love it. So if you have those two oils and you haven't tried putting them together yet, definitely do so because it just smells great and it makes you feel great. I have a quick little decor favorite, which honestly I was like, I shouldn't even mention any decor because I've done so many videos already on my Halloween decor. Um, and there's so many things I could mention, but I just picked this cause I feel like this is classy and it's affordable and it's probably just like the most like universal liked thing, but literally everything I've bought this year, I am obsessed with. Um, if you want to go watch that Halloween decor haul, I will link it up in the corner. So many good things. There's also a shop Halloween, 
page on my website. You can click it. All of my linkable Halloween decorations that I own are on there. You can click and shop. Works out really nicely. But I did want to mention this because I think it's super cute. And like I said, it would match a lot of your kitchens or your bathrooms, whatever you want to use it for. I think it's, they called it like a coquette or something. It's just this tiny little pumpkin pot. It is microwave safe, oven safe, I think. Yeah, oven proof, microwave dishwash safe. I have it out on my counter currently, which looks really cute, but I'm keeping my homegrown produce in there. So we got some limes and some tomatoes. Um, I had like a little basket before, but I switched it out for this just to be a little more cute. You could put like dips for a party or eat soup out of it or I don't even know. It's just really cute and very versatile and I wanted to mention it because I think it's amazing. And yeah, I just had to sneak in a Halloween decoration in this video. And now I have some accessories favorites, which I have three headbands, two of which are Mickey ears, but we'll get into that. I got so many DMs about this headband. This is from Anthropology. I think it's called their sequin glitter braided headband, something like that. It is so beautiful, and not only that, it is the most comfortable headband I've ever worn in my life. Um, this is from Anthropology. I don't know if I already said that. The sh like glitter of the fabric is just gorgeous. I like how much it sticks out on my head. Like I don't know. I'm just obsessed with everything about it. Over the weekend, I shared on Friday Faves that it was on sale. So if you also don't follow me on Instagram, be sure you do because I share sales. Like when my favorite things are on sale, I swipe you up to them. This was ten dollars off, so I ordered another color. <laughs> I ordered like a navy color. I'm kind of regretting not ordering the green color I liked as well just because I love headbands right now and it was $10 off so it was only like I think $13 and it's so comfortable so maybe I'll see if they're still on sale and order another one but I did do a little bit of shopping this weekend it's mostly like a home haul but I think I'll do like a little fall home haul but one of the things I got was this in navy because it's so so good so I will link this down below then the other two are mini ears so me and my sister finally braved downtown Disney I was kind of iffy on going just because I'm scared I get anxious in big crowds I mean I always have but like now it's extra scary to my the dog is barking because Bradley's home and he's excited but now it's just extra scary to be out and about and so we kind of put it off it's been open for a while I also heard the line was super long um, I will tell you my tips. Go on a weekday. My in-laws went on a weekend and they waited 45 minutes just to get in to downtown Disney. And then the line for World of Disney was like an hour long. We waited in no line to get in. We walked right in and then we waited 10 minutes to get in World of Disney. We went on a Thursday morning. We got there at like 11. It was perfect. Traffic definitely picked up like towards the afternoon. So I would definitely say a weekday in the morning if you want to go. And we just had the best time. You know that me and my sister are like Disney buddies. We're both obsessed and we're missing it so much right now. And it was honestly really sad to like be there and not be able to just go on in and ride Monsters Inc or Haunted Mansion you know it was sad but it was also super fun it was just fun to be out with my sister for the day fun to shop the Disney merch in person which the whole reason I freaking went is this candle right here which is not on the website so I didn't want to share it because you can't get it but it is a first of all this is my first time lighting it too it smells amazing it's not too overpowering which you guys know that's like the main reason I'm steering clear of candles but I didn't give a shit about the candle. I cared about the jar. So once I burn that up, I'm keeping that jar forever. It is so cute. It just has like cartoon Mickey treats all over. It is so cute. I went for that and they had that. So that was great. We also went on an incredible day. We got there literally five minutes after they unveiled the um, Chadwick Boseman Black Panther. I, I, I guess it's a painting on the, it's like on the ESPN zone wall. It was beautiful. It was the first thing we saw when we walked in and we didn't know it at the time, but my sister vlogged the day, which um, if that vlog is up, I'll link it down below. It was really cute. My sister has a YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, I will link it down below. Or if I can card other people's videos, I'll do that. Um, but she was editing the footage and then she realized we were standing there with the artist. Like they had just taken like the, the sheet down and he signed it like moments after we walked away. And I thought that was crazy, but it's a beautiful drawing. Um, so not only we were there to see that, but we got there literally the day after they released the new Disneyland ears, which I took an Instagram. I'll insert the picture. I like, I'm just in shock that we were there and got them. I'm sure they're sold out by now. I'm sure it's going to be the whole rose gold ear thing all over. It took me literally a year to find them because they just went out of stock so fast and I had no luck being there on the days they were restocked. I saw them on Instagram the day before and I was like, Katie, I hope we can get them. They had them behind the counter. So if you do go, be sure to ask somebody because they may have some, they might just be hoarding them behind the counter, but they are so cute and I'm so happy I got them. <laughs> but then I also blacked out and bought two other pairs. They've released so many good new ears. I still want the sparkle red ones. I still want the orange and black plaid ones. I still want the Mickey pumpkin ones. Like there's just so many good ones and my husband's gonna kill me, but it's like, I wear them. Well, when the parks are open, obviously we go a ton and I wear one, a different one all the time. So I just was obsessed with these. I love 
emerald green. They're so pretty. And I like all the um, sequin glitter ones. I'm just into glitter. I can't help it. My purple glitter ones are my absolute favorites. And these kind of reminded me of them. It's just more of like a darker color. And it just, I thought it was pretty. It's a neutral, but it's glitter and it's green and it's fun. And then these are to die for. They're just plain mustard. I love them. Again, just neutral will go with everything. My sister got these as well. And for the longest time, I was like lusting after these. I kept seeing them on TikTok and Instagram, but they weren't on the website, but they are finally on the website. So I will link them down below. If you want to get them, get them quick because I'm sure they'll go away, but ah, I am just obsessed. So in case you're obsessed with Disney as well, and you wanted the fun ears, I wanted to mention them before they go away forever because that's just how the ear game works. And last but not least, I have a dress favorite also from Target. Target has been doing me, doing me well treating me well. Target has had good clothes is what I'm trying to say. And so this is another wild fable dress, which again, I'm so terrible at showing you clothes on this tiny screen. I will insert a picture, but it's this really fun color. It's kind of like an orange creamsicle color. I love the puff sleeves. And also let me say, this has some cons as well, but in my opinion, the pros outweigh the cons, so I would recommend it. But it's just this really cute, flowy, orange creamsicle dress. I wore this to the pumpkin patch, the amazing pumpkin patch that we went to on our two year wedding anniversary. It's called Bates Nuts Farm, Bait Nut Farm, Butt Nut Farm, something like that. It was great. It had the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen in my life. I Instagrammed a ton about it. I put a post up about it on the blog with all the photos. I made a reel about it. It was just like the best day I've never seen. And people misunderstood me like, you've never been to a pumpkin patch? I've been to tons of pumpkin patches. I've never been to a pumpkin patch where they had 87 pound and bigger pumpkins out in the field and you could go walk the field that they grew in. Like that is not something I've been to. And yes, we brought home an 87 pound pumpkin, of course. But anyway, this was just like the perfect little dress to wear to the pumpkin patch. It was breezy and flowy. I looked like a pumpkin in it. <laughs> it has this kind of like scrunch material, which I usually steer clear from, but I actually really like the way it looks on this dress. The cons I mentioned are it wrinkles so quickly. So I did have to steam this before I wore it, which is fine. I love steaming things to be honest. And it's pretty see-through. So those, I mean, they're two pretty big cons, but like if you work it out with, I had just like a nude pair of shorts on under it so you couldn't see anything and I steamed it and it was just worth it. And it's cheap and it's fun and I loved it. So I will link this down below, but okay. I feel like I've talked your ear off. I will stop now, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will, like I said, I'll have everything that I can link listed down below. Please go check out my website if you will. I worked really, really hard on it. I'm like begging you to go look at it, but go look at it, please. And um, yeah, if you watch the movies, just check in with me on Instagram, tag me, let me know you're watching it. I'm really, really excited about it. I hope you guys watch along with me, but even if you don't, like I'm excited about, I made my perfect list. It's also a nice way for me to make sure I watch everything. Cause sometimes Halloween's go by and I'm like, oh, I forgot to watch this, this, and this. Not this year. We've laid it all out. It's an amazing list if I do say so myself. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. Not to get emotional, but the reason I can work and build a website is because of you guys and I'm just so excited. So thank you guys so much. I love you. I will see you very soon with some more Halloween-ish videos. Let me know what you want to see down below. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.